Wow, YouTube. <laughs> Theo, I am so nervous. I'm so nervous, man, but I'm here and I hope you're excited because I'm excited. This is my first YouTube channel and my first YouTube video. So welcome everyone. I hope you really stick around. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be doing a get to know me tag while doing a nice soft glam look so if you are interested in this video which i hope you are please stick around until the end the look i'm creating is something very simple i can't do two things at once and not with the first youtube video like i'm too nervous already so i'm gonna create a soft glam i think this is like every day you can definitely wear this every day in winter and yeah it's just cute so let's create it while i answer some questions i did my brows off camera because i really needed to concentrate um i'm not gonna it's not a tutorial so i'm not gonna really show you what i'm using and go into it because i need to answer the questions the questions are in this notebook um first question is what is your name my name is kumani uh, what year were you born? I was born in 1995, so I am 24, turning 25 this year. Uh, what sports did you play growing up? I played, um, I did some swimming, squash, tennis, um, netball, my main sport. Um, some soccer and what else what else did I do and definitely our indigenous games our indigenous games or Puta or Duva you know those those were sports bro if you took it seriously enough that was a sport um yeah just getting my base on here okay <laughs> question what is your spirit animal and why honestly i've looked this up that's why i put this question here I've, i looked it up ever since i watched moana the movie and to be honest guys my spirit animal is a stingray i have to say you know stingrays are sensitive they don't engage in everything you know if there's they avoid conflict but if they are provoked babes Okay. Of course. <laughs> if they are provoked, it's gonna go down. They're gonna defend themselves. Don't threaten them. Don't put them in. Don't push them. Mm. Okay. Um, tea or coffee? Tea. I don't drink coffee. Like, I tolerate the smell even. Like, I don't drink coffee. I'm also very caffeine sensitive, so maybe that's also why. Um... Who are your favorite YouTubers? K Yarms, love her. I love ZX Online, love her. I love Snee, I love Nisali N. Um, who else? Who else? Oh my God, I can't really think about anyone else right now. Um, some international YouTubers. I like Jackie Aina. I love that hun. I like um. Tierra Walker was actually, I think, the first YouTuber, international YouTuber I subscribed to. I like Shalom Black. Mm, who else? Who else? Uh, I love Al Alyssa Ashley and her sister. Are you single or taken? Babes, what do you think? what is your guess i'm joking i am not single i am taken to taken guys sorry sorry to take it what is your go-to hairstyle my go-to hairstyle is definitely a wig because i mean you put it on you take it off whenever and braids i know i'm basic and braids um i haven't had braids in a while so this is the first time i've had braids in a while so yeah it's easy 
I do want to try new things though, surely. Like even like with braids, I want to try different styles of braids. You know, tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Hmm. Who? Uh, I took a gap year, and I was coaching swimming. <laughs> I don't know why that's weird, but people found that very weird because it's like, Gabo, you can swim. Wow, oh, babes. So yeah, I coach swimming um, in matric and in my gap year. That was me packing this on here. I know it looks so white now because I have no transition, but it's going to get better. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'll get back to that part of the eye. Um, next question. What is your favorite Netflix show? My favorite Nef Nef uh, favorite Netflix show right now is Dynasty, but the catch with that is <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say it. The catch with Dynasty is that I can't watch it at night, guys. Like I really can't watch it at night. It gives me anxiety, like the betrayal. Ew. It's gross. So, I don't know. Dynasty is like the kind of life I don't want to live. Like, all the money and the fame comes with all the wrong things. And that's just not what I'm willing to do with my life. Like, I don't want to have to look over my shoulder. Like, uh-uh. Mm -mm, the betrayal is real. And it's also betrayal from family. Like, uh-uh, guys. Desensitive. What's my favorite genre of, of film? I have to say comedy guys comedy romance uh drama stay away i stay away from horror i stay away from suspense i stay away from thrillers because honestly i dream about that stuff at night i don't know who else does I have you moved away from home and how was the experience babes the furthest i've moved away from home was to go to varsity like yo <laughs> And how's the experience? It was trash because I was so used to being at home and with my family and to get homesick. I get very homesick and yeah, so the experience was obviously better than me moving to another province. But because I study in Gramstown, I go home all the freaking time. So I mean the experience was bearable because I knew that I had an option to go home whenever. So I haven't been away from home and I'm really scared for when that day comes. Yo. <laughs> wow. No. This baby's crying. Yo. Goes. Um, so why did I start YouTube? I I've always wanted to start YouTube. Like I think 2017 I wanted to start YouTube because I was watching it and I was like this looks so much like so much fun and people are really being informative and they're sharing things and expressing themselves it just looked like something that I could do you know interacting with people and just creating this small community and I really like that but guys fear can I tell you fear hmm. you will not succeed if you are fearful and fear is not a spirit from God Fear almost, almost imprisoned, almost made me a prisoner of the mind, you see. And I had like all these preconceptions of having a YouTube channel. I was like, oh, you have to have like a following on Instagram. Like, bro, if you go check out my Instagram right now, it's like <sighs> money, money, babes, money to start a YouTube channel. Um so i was really fearful but i was like you know what don't let fear stop you from trying things and i started youtube because i really wanted to just have fun and just grow you know develop myself just gain like these softer skills you know speaking in front of people even though i'm speaking to a camera um engaging with people and i feel like i wanted to do this so bad but I felt like I had excuses, man. Like, oh, you're in Gramstown. Like, 
who what what are you gonna do in Gramstown? Like what are you gonna show the people in Gramstown? And then I saw people in Gramstown with YouTube channels having fun and I was like that could have been me. That really could have been me. But it's not. And honey, if you're not gonna do it, someone else is gonna do it. Facts, no printer. And like with lockdown and everything, I was like, I refuse to come out of lockdown the same. Like you need to always develop your develop yourself. And I wanted to actively do that and face my fears, you know, and start this channel. I'm done being a spectator girl. I wanna be a player. I wanna be in the field player. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be a player, you know, I want to trip and fall on that field, learn from my mistakes, grow, and I really encourage everyone who has a goal to really try work towards it and just really face all those fears. And another reason I was like, Nyani, you know, this fear is really consuming me. I was like, I'm walking through this journey and this desire by myself. Like, I'm not including God into it. And if I did include God into this journey of starting a YouTube channel, get down on that gala because I know that fear is, is, is not a spirit from him. And so I just feel like you guys should always trust in the higher power, whoever you, or whatever you believe in, just trust that it will carry through it and rather try and fail than fail to try bars <laughs> you know what i mean rather try and fail than fail to try because at the end of the day we grow through those failures and you're not really failing you are developing confidence you are improving yourself you know if you're shy you're breaking down those barriers if you are you know if you're lacking a bit of confidence you are building confidence as time goes who's on my right you're gonna be more comfortable you know with yourself the reason why i'm doing my makeup and doing this tag is because i want you guys to know what this channel is about well the basis of the channel is beauty but i'm going to incorporate other things because i'm not just beauty you know we are multi-dimensional you know but i don't want to be everywhere and everywhere you know so that's why i'm doing this makeup look which i think i've been over blending now so that's why i started my channel to engage and i hope you guys engage i think i'm happy with this i want to blend it a bit i'm gonna blend it later let me get to my face let me get to my face, girl. Are you a student or are you working? I'm definitely a student. I am doing my Masters of Science, MSc, in Human Kinetics and Ergonomics. Okay, it's my first year. Yo, it's been tense, guys. It's been so tense. What are your pet peeves? I really try not to think about that. But I really hate it when people don't close cupboard doors. Like, why am I valley? Oh, I also hate slow people in traffic. Whether we are walking, driving. See, busy, I'm busy, babes. I'm busy now. Yo. Do you have any weird quirks? I mean, is it really weird if I think it's normal? Is it really? Okay, so a, um, a weird quirk. Guys, I really thought in my past life I was a singer and an actor, actress. So, you know, you know. <laughs> Stand in front of the mirror and I like to reenact a scene, you know. Tikomba. I am channeling my inner actress, you know, sometimes I'm a boss, you know, sometimes I'm going to be a businesswoman. I don't want anyone to come at me if I don't call for them, you know what I mean? Like sometimes, sometimes I act out scenes where, you know, I'm really heartbroken. Someone broke my heart and it's just, it's not cute. And then I have like a monologue of, 
things i do that i don't know if that's weird comment below if you also do that i know you guys are just as weird as i am but you know what being weird is fun being weird is so fun um another thing that i do is dance nothing hectic just this mamele gospel music spice girls lady marmalade it's really fun like i love that it takes out all the stress it oh honestly honestly it's the best thing it's it's, it's life you should try it yo this is not easy guys this is not easy do you have any siblings yes i have a half sister and i have an older brother half sister is way older than me like i'm sure like a good 15 years older than me and then my brother is four years older than me and fun times um what social media are you addicted to not really addicted to anything but like i don't even have a lot of social i'm not on a lot of social platforms i don't have twitter i really don't know how to use it i don't have tiktok but it's so like me to have tiktok because i love i love to perform like i love to lip sync see the vibes is i love that but like technology and bed like you and bed Hashem. i can't so why makeup Honestly, I cut my hair in twenty. I cut my hair in twenty seventeen, right? I told the guy, "Listen, cut my hair, but cut my hair, ne? But then make sure that there's still enough to make braids, ne?" to do braids i wanted to be able to you know have some braids when i wanted to right because i was really scared to cut my hair i was like babes like i was scared i was gonna look like a man i don't know why so i was like okay cut my hair but then make sure that there's still enough so that you know can you have a grip so i can do my do my braids and then he was like, yeah, 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 sure. I was like, shut, bro, shut. Yeah, this guy is cutting, like, I can see my scalp at this point. Like, I can see my freaking scalp. And then I was like, bro, uh-uh. And then he's like, no, don't worry. Once we wash your hair, you'll see it's going to be perfect. I was like, yo, okay, sure. And then he washed my hair and everything bruh i could see my scalp i was like no ways like it's over so i went home i was like mom 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 please tell you wig babes and she's like no but let me you must be confident in your skin yo i was like bruh i really don't need none of that right now she's like mm -mm. you'll be confident in your skin and your body i was like sure of it so I met a girl, she became my friend, she was doing first year, and I could see by a girl then, you know, she had the brows, you know, and then she taught me, like, she'd do my eyebrows, and then I also learned like that, and I was just, I was into it, because I felt so plain with just a small afro, like, yo, uh-uh, so makeup or brows helped me feel like, no, so I'm back lashes are on my eyeliner landed on my lid and i'm so scared to clean that off because i don't know how i'm gonna do it i'm just finishing up 
this look and then I'll do what youtubers do at the end of every makeup look <laughs> well it's our poser So this is the final look. If you like it, please leave a big thumbs up below. Comment and engage with me. Is this a good first video? Is it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel if you are interested in this kind of content and excited to see where this channel goes. I was so nervous, but I actually had so much fun filming this video for you guys. And yeah, don't forget to follow me and engage with me on Instagram at Kumani Mona and I think that's actually the only platform I have hmm I need to do better but yeah I'll see you in the next video thank you for tuning in Mwah.